This is when you keep saying, oh, this is a demand zone, this is a demand zone, we gotta bounce, we get that cookie effect, where they take a position, goes to their, uh, goes to their favor just for, just for a moment, and they get greedy, because we know retail traders mostly are greedy. stock options labor here i hope you're all doing great i hope you had an amazing weekend amazing trading day this week getting ready for monday uh, today is october you see the day today's october 9th october 10th tomorrow's monday so hopefully you guys have your setup you're prepared if you do not have your setup it's okay to sit out and just pay attention to the market but overall let's get right to the to the lesson today is going to be about retail versus banks and I'm qualified to say the retail because I used to trade retail. So I have a beautiful example example here on uh, Crowd. Right, I have Crowd Strike right here. I gave this play out to my friend. I was in a higher time frame four hour. Beautiful on Crowd, right? Let's just look at this example. Cause you guys, I wanna make this straight to the point. So let's look at this example. Every time Crowd hit my supply zone, right? Every time my Crowd hit my supply zone, I would short it, right? Every time it would hit, let me make let me make a let me make a, make a visual for you guys. So every time crowd would hit this up zone, I would take calls, right? Pretty simple. This is me trading retail, by the way. Every time it takes that, I will get out, right? Trade trade from my demand, take calls to my supply. Literally, this was happening. I literally gave this play out to my friend. She has this play. She so you guys can believe me or not, it's okay, right? But my friend, my friend, I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say her name. If you watch this. You're gonna be like, wow, this is so true, right? And like I said, it's okay if you guys believe me. If you do, hey, that's cool. If you don't, that's cool too, right? And I'm not over here to make fun. This video is not to make fun of, it's not to make fun of uh, retail because I used to trade retail. It's just, I'm gonna show you guys the different, right? So I used to trade retail and I have no understanding. All I know was my zone, why? I'm not gonna say what course I took. It was a $500 course, right? $500 course, this is what they showed me, to create that zone. Was that was this trade profitable? Can you made a lot of money? Of course you can, of course, right? But as also we understand that any any strategy can make money. By the way, you can flip a freaking coin and say, "Hey, is this you know heads heads? I will go long, tails, and I'll go short, right?" But the only thing that will make that trade amazing or that 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 strategy work is that you have a risk management behind it, right? You manage the risk. So in this scenario, the retail I would trade in such where. Okay, awesome. This is uh, this is my supply and demand zone. But you know, if you if I was greedy, I would have kept holding, holding. I would have got out. I would have take puts. I would have made money. I would have made profits. But in this scenario, if it wasn't this my supply zone, and I would hold, thinking that it was gonna go back to my demand, I would have lost on that trade. You guys can see that this literally was the live example that I was using to trade, right? I literally had this setup. Literally had this setup, right? You try to take short here. Once you're short. You lost money, why? Because look, it went up. All right, you'd be like, awesome. I tried to short again, what happened? I held my play, I lost money. Can you make money from that? Absolutely, that, that's a great move, right? That's a great that's a great swing move from 203 to around this 184, beautiful move. But like I said, if you are retail and you became greedy, which even those who trade smart money are also greedy, we all have that problem. Right, but most of that problem, that greediness is at retail. Those individuals that do not understand how the market works. Right? Why? Why am I quali why am I saying that? Because I was in that position. Okay? I just want to make money, I'll just hold my play. Make money from the side of my job. Right? So if you were greedy, went down, went to your favorite cookie effect, what happened? Bounce back up. Oh, I'm getting out, I'm getting out. We're gonna break that support. Right? Now it becomes support and resistant. Now you start ad adding new shit. Right? Oh, we're gonna break that support. That's that support. Oh, let me look at the end of the market. Oh my God, we're testing that. Most likely we're gonna break. We went short. Okay, went short. You went short, get that cookie effect, bounced up right again. All right, now it's gonna break. I'm gonna take calls. This is literally what's happening. I can see this because this is what I was thinking. Oh, we tested it. Oh, we never even tried to test the, the demand zone, so I'm taking long. It's gonna break it this time. It's, 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 we have, um, what do you call this? A crown, a crown or a, a triple top, or we have a double bottom occurring so we're gonna break that neckline right we're gonna break that neckline and what happened you went long you got liquidated boom went all the way to your demand zone now i'm gonna take calls 
Oh, this is it. I'm happy. I'm happy. I got all my losses back. I'm break even in my account. Boom. You take supply zone. You think it's going to break, right? Because after that test, next thing you know, shorts right on you. Right? And if you did keep that, kept that supply zone, you would have got out, held, but now once again, demand zone, you're, you're doing pretty good. As you guys can see, there is, there is a hit and miss, right? But if I show you guys how to trade retail, which is going to be the difference, this is what it's going to be. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to delete everything because you guys, you know, you have the example, as you can see, there was two zones: is the sell zone and the buy zone, supply and demand, right? If it goes to my demand, if it goes to my supply, excuse me, it's going to go down, we're on puts. If it goes to my demand, we're taking calls and we're making money. It works. And I told you guys, you can flip a freaking coin. The only difference is you have to rip, manage those uh, trades. So I'm going to delete everything and how will everything work? As I show you guys. You need to first understand your trend. Okay, understand where you currently are in the market. Okay, so let, let me go to my monthly just to make it quick. It goes deep into this. If you want to know how I do that, I do that all in my mentorship. Okay, right now, we know that we are in a downtrend. Why is that? I know we're in a downtrend for sure. Let me let me get all my proper tools here. Uh, Horizontal line, right? Whatever. So we have a horizontal line. Why did I put it there? Why? Because we broke structure. Awesome. Right? Let me get that again. Broke structure. Awesome. You guys see that? I'm looking at areas where structures are being broken. Okay? I'm literally showing you guys how I'm trading smart money and the difference between just saying supply and demand zone. Right? I will go to my four hour and make a similarity. So this is my structure. I find my, let me make that, uh, let me make that blue. So I make sure I, guys, I give everything out here for free. Everything that I learn, everything that I'm doing, how I trade, everything, I'm giving it out for free. All you literally have to do is take the time to invest and listen to what I'm saying, right? We have that new broken lease structure. So this is now invalid, right? Because the goal was to make price go up to the zone again, and now it can fall down. But then we have a different structure that happened, which is this entire structure right here. You guys see that? Because the price went up and what happened? Broke down. So this became a new structure because it broke this structure. Right? If you guys don't know what I just said or what I talked about, hey, it's, it's okay. I have a video on structure. You can definitely learn that. I teach you guys everything, how to draw the structure, what you're looking for, and all that good stuff, right? So we find the structure. Now we're, I just plotted the SND. I'm going to change the color of the structure so we don't confuse anybody. Now what we're doing is we're waiting for price to come up to that zone. Once it come up, we're looking for that. We're looking for that liquidity around this low, which you guys, you guys know this already. You guys are sick and tired of it. Now we're looking to liquidate this low. Right, this low right here from 118, and we can potentially see a bounce where once we liquidate that low, grab all that uh, grab all that position that the composite man has there, that they're all down negative, create that spring, and go up even higher and liquidate these highs. Right in the lower time frame, so in the weekly time frame, you'll see a different schematic or in the monthly. Right. So now you drew everything. I show you guys the rule of 30. I'm not gonna do it in this point right here. But if I am in the weekly, I'm going to find how much, how many days are there divided by 30. And that's the time frame that I'm supposed to be working in, right? So I can have that proper, uh, proper amplified play that I'm supposed to be at, right? So I'm not just going to the yearly and go play the quarterly because they said play the lower time frame. No, no, that's not it, right? So if you guys don't know the rule of 30, just I have everything in my video. Let me, let me make sure I have, I, sh I, sh I share that with you guys. Right here, I have everything in my video. Just look for it. I have a video market structure. I have a Wyckoff distribution, which I will talk about just in a few, in a few moments. And then I have market imbalance, right? I'm anti against, I'm anti against making an hour video, even though I love watching the hour of video, but for you guys, you know, I know I don't, I don't, I'm not trying to harpoon anybody here, but the attention span is very low. And most of my retention, most of my retention uh, video right here is just people, you guys, you guys just watched 15 minutes and those who stay from 30 to 
35 minute long video because that's what I usually make. I appreciate each and every one of you. And most of you are usually the one that's killing it, right? So we're waiting for price to go up and we're wait, waiting for that confirmation of, of weak hand transfer to strong hand. So that's the move right here, right? Come up here. We got that confirmation. We can transfer. We got that UTAD. We got that ST and what happened? Boom. And then we look to go lower after that markdown and boom, lower and lower until whatever we're looking to liquidate here, which is this area and this area, this 94. Okay. That's the strategy. So let's go to that four hour. What is the difference? Okay. So what I would do to that four hour. So if you guys want me to draw, I'll draw that zone again, because this is pretty easy to draw on crowd. So what happened here? Right now, the crowd is actually looking it's looking right now. Whew, this was a great move on crowd. Actually, this would have faked me too, right? Because one, I found a structure here as that break of that structure, right? Then we're going to place our SND zone, which is that rejection. A rejection as well can be your SND zone. An SND zone is not just, all right, this entire move right here, because this is zone, then a zone. No. Right. I never used to draw a zone. I never used to draw a zone the right way. Now that I understand and completely detailed everything that I do in the market, even that itself is a supply zone. Right? So we're gonna we find our structure there. I hope you guys learned something. If you guys are getting value, like and subscribe there. Right? Now I found my SND zone. So as you can see right here, as you can see right here, if I would have taken this play the moment it touched, the moment it touched that play. Right, I, should, I, sh I, I teach you guys this all the time. You make sure you get that transfer. So this would have confused me because me thinking that that rejection right there, I'll make this black so you guys can see over that red, the red zone, right? I would think this was the UTAD taking out everything. I would think that's the UT. I would think this is the, the preliminary supply. This is the, the buying climax, right? And I would think this is the UTAD creating that down move, but overall, this was actually the structure itself, right? And that's okay. So we would put a minus one because we lost that trade, but overall, we still know what we're looking for, okay? Let me, let me get that polyline right here, right? So this right here is the entire structure, okay? And I'm gonna show you guys here in this, a moment. Entire structure, meaning that the play is doing this. Right, if you don't know what I'm talking about, like I said, I have a video on Wyckoff distribution. So just check that out, right? So we have price consolidating. This is exact, oops. This is exactly what's happening here, you guys. We have price consolidating. In this area right here, we have price consolidating, right? Consolidating, and what happened? We have that, Lick, lick, we, um, the, the composite man liquidated all that position. All those individuals that put their stop losses, buy stops, everything here was liquidated, right? Sell stop, all that. Those who's taking call, now a lot of orders are here. So what's gonna, what's going to happen is that individuals, once again, this is what retail is gonna think. We broke resistance here. We broke resistance. This comes to it. It's amazing that I'm, it's, um, it's good that I'm making this point. It comes up here. We broke that critical support. Right, we broke critical support. So what's going to happen? This is what they told me. Once you break critical support, right? Once you break that critical support, once you break that, you wait for that retest and what happened? It goes up even higher. That's what they told me. And I know some of you guys have been also trading for quite some time is looking at that like, wow, they told me that too. That's what they told me. Wait for that retest, you take a play and what happened? Boom, it goes up even higher. But in this scenario, your account would have got spanked. Why? Because you never understand the overall trend and what's happening here. And this is why I tell you guys all the time, in order for you to understand this video, rewatch the other videos. Right? It's a buildup of education. It's not just, oh, this, that, I trade this, trade that, trade that. No, 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 no. It's a buildup of education. If you want to learn what I'm talking about here, go watch the previous video that I created. And it's just over and over and over. Right? So. But we understand here, we're on a downtrend. So everything we're looking for is white cough distribution. So once once I seen that, once again, I took a negative play here. So we put minus one and that's okay, right? I probably broke even or lost 1%. So once I wait for my structure, 
I, I would put my, I would create this as my new high. Once I create that, I would wait until this gets liquidated, which was this that liquidated it, liquidated that area, right? This is in the four hour, remember. So this entire thing, I would take a play. You guys know about my 15 cents. Now I got a confirmation. I got a confirmation here. This is my entire play, right? This entire thing right here is where I'm gonna find my play, waiting for my white off transfer from weak hand to strong hand. That entire thing. The moment my price go to my zone, this is why I tell you guys you don't have to trade every day too. Stop trading every day. Wait for your damn setup. And I'm I'm not mad. I'm just passionate. Like I gotta tell you guys these. I'm trying to make your life simpler, right? You guys don't want to be in screen time from uh, whatever 6 a.m. when you create the watch list and wait until 9:30 until 5 p.m. And start saying, oh, that got me, that got me. Which you can if you love it like me, but I don't do that anymore. So what I would do is I would find my structure, my zone, uh, my zone, my SND zone. I will create an alert, right? Once I create that alert, now when price gets in there, just when it touch it, now I can wait for my confirmation. Now I take a trade. Or I can find the structure from the from the, <laughs> the, the, the low of that structure, create an alert, because once you break that, we know once it breaks structure, it's going to keep on going down and down and down, right? If anything, right now, this is actually a great play, a great play on um, on crowd. It's not financial advice. Do your own due diligence, please. I have a disclaimer that says, I am not responsible for any trading that you do. This is my, excuse me, this is personally my own strategy in my own perspective of the market. So now I found my play. I found my UTAD. Once I found my UTAD, I put 15 cents, right? 15 cents just above that stop loss, right? This is not the 15 cents, but usually I know when I'm really trading. I'm very well detailed when I'm trading. Make sure everything is set up, 15 cents. And what am I looking at? I'm looking to take that high to that low, right? To that low of that structure. That is my first target. And I would just let the play run as long as my stop loss does not get hit. And this is why I tell you guys all the time, the difference between retail trader and smart money trader is that when you're retail, don't be greedy, don't be greedy. But when you know when the price is going, well, retail trader is saying that because they don't have the price. They don't understand where the price is going. They don't understand where the price is going, right? That's why they're saying don't be greedy. But if you understand the price is going, wouldn't you tell, wouldn't you tell them just manage the trade, set your break even stop loss and just let it run. And if it hits your trade, kudos, kudos to the market, they won, right? But if you know where the price is going, wouldn't you have the confidence to hold regardless of what it does and regardless if it never hits your stop loss? Right? Even if the price does this, even if the price does this, right? So you got a great entry. Now you're up on the trade, making good bank, big man, making good money, right? Next thing you know, it goes up all the way here. Oh, I should have took profit. I should have took profit. That's what, that's what retail does. Oh, it's a double bottom. It's a W. It's a W. But not understanding that might just been a test, right? Then overall, they get out their trade. All right, I just take this, whatever, 20% because I didn't take 50. Next thing you know, it starts to freaking fall. This is why I tell you guys to let the play run. So all the individuals that are taking my mentorship, you know why I said let the play run. Go find your structure. Go find your U Go find your SMB. Go find that confirmation of weak hands to strong hand transfer in the form of Wyckoff. In this scenario, we have that UTAD. Put the 15, the, the, Find that UTAB, put the 15 cent um, stop loss right above it just to break even, right? Or 1% or 1, 2% loss, which I tell that in my mentorship that all that good stuff, right? So once you find that, just let the play run. Who cares if, it, if you're up 60% and it goes back up to 5%? Let it run because that's when you start getting high RR, right? That's how you get those 100, 200% plays. Right? And the money's just working for you. This is literally the thing that I'm teaching you guys is literally passive income once you understand how to set yourself up for success. So you don't have to trade every day, Monday to Friday. And that's what most people will not, most trader, not people, most trader will never understand. I gotta trade every day. I gotta trade every day. There's always a setup though. You're trading every day because you don't have a setup. If you watch the beginning of this video of this channel, my videos is all about setup, right? Well, not all of it, because because these things I was trading retail, not to understand, so I was just letting indicators do the work for me. But now, nope. Watch all these, all these, uh, the sniper stuff right here. You can watch these two if you want. But all the goodies is right here. 
right and i have so much more video being uploaded so if you're not yet subscribed subscribe right now right i literally have content that are autopilot going to get uploaded until november 7th and right now it's only october October 9th, I believe. It's October 9th, and I have content ready to get uploaded until until November 7th. November 6th. 7 6, right? But it's we're we're ahead. I'm passionate about this. So that's just my preaching right there. Right? That's for me preaching. So you let your plays run, and now you have met four hours. You go to that time frame. So the rules of 30, I believe we're gonna be divided by 30. I believe we're going to be playing in a time frame of, let's say, I don't know. I don't know by heart. So 10 minutes, right? So we wait for that confirmation in the via white off. Awesome. Once we have that, we just let the play run. And our target is that structure low, right? The low, hang on, I can't see. The structure that low, once we have that, once we have that target met, once we have that low, that structure met, we can, you can say shave contract or potentially lighten up your position or leave runners, right? Leave runners until to what? Liquidating this low, right? This low right here. Liquidate that low. Hang on, guys. I'm using poly. Poly lines. It's not letting me exit, right? Liquidate that low and liquidate these lows. You guys see that? So you're not afraid. And that's how you get 200, 300% play. So you got the entry right here, right? And boom. What happened? Over. Run and let it run and let it run and let it run and let it run. You guys see that? That's the difference between that concept. So now let, let, let me let, let me get a let me get a retail trader real quick. If I was a retail trader, I'm speaking to me, right? Okay, this is a demand zone. This got a bounce right here. It's got a bounce right here. This is where I take out. This is gonna got a bounce, right? This is it. Oh, it's a demand zone here too. It's a demand zone here too, right? Because it touched that. It touched that. That's a demand zone there too. Because it keeps bouncing there. Right. Oh, this is a demand zone here too. This is a demand zone here too. Right there. Why is it a demand zone there? Because it bounced from there, it bounced from there, it bounced from there, it bounced from there, it bounced from there. Right? But as you can see, this literally was just broken. Never held. Coming up there, and right now it's looking to liquidate this, this, uh, this zone that you have here, so-called demand, which in reality it's not a demand zone. It is a liquidate, it's a it's a price target to go down even lower while other people are taking calls right so you have to understand this concept so it's basically it's basically this i know you guys are sick and tired of me hearing that over and over and over you guys are like please create something new it's some of my student who loves who understands me those who see my mentorship i tell them all the time repetition is the mother of all learning you don't go to the gym once and look in the mirror and get the dream body that you want it takes years of build up consistency discipline and persistence to the same exact strategy, bettering your form, bettering your diet, right? So, right, so you have that structure and as you guys know as well, the composite man thinks the opposite of the retails, right? Those who move, who, move, who creates the market, they think the opposite. So this is a demand zone because they think this goes up, yes? And I know I was a victim of this, so I know if I was a victim of somebody who's watching this, Right now, we're saying that, wow, that's amazing. I understand exactly what this, this guru, no, I'm kidding. Uh, this gentleman is saying, right? This is a demand zone. So if the opposite man, the composite man, let me make this red, down green, just to make sure. So now, the comp uh, if you understand that the composite man thinks the opposite of the retail trader, this is when you keep saying, oh, this is a demand zone, this is a demand zone, we got to bounce, we get that cookie effect, when they take a position, goes to their, uh, goes to their favor just for, just for a moment, and they get greedy, because we know retail traders mostly are greedy, they hold the play, boom, break that zone, oh, no, 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 I got to average down, I got to average down right here, or I got to get out, right, average down, average down, goes up again, cookie effect, goes down even though, no, this got to be our average down, average down, because it's going to bounce. Next thing you know, they never get that fucking bounce. And what happened? Lose everything. Trading is not for me. I hate trading. All uh, gurus are a liar. I don't want to trade anymore. All that stuff, right? I'm depressed. All this. But in reality, they just didn't know what the hell was going on. Right? Then it goes the opposite. It gets better, guys. It gets better right here. It gets better. Right? Then they have the opposite. All right, all right. All right, I understand. 
this is this is now this is now a supply zone okay right this is now a supply zone guys this is gonna get better right here supply zone this is supply zone this is now my supply zone right supply zone supply zone right here right next thing you know never understand that every single position was liquidated right we create that spring once we have that spring we have that test of spring this is supply zone we got to go down get that cookie effect what happened boom breaks that zone sign of strength right mark up go even higher ah oh, supply zone just got to be it go down go even higher liquidate that high right there right boom and now everybody's like what the hell my supply zone never held why does my zone never hold why is it never held? Why is it every single zone that I have, it never holds? Right? I thought this guru said that whatever zone that I have here, which most touches or the highest, the highest supply zone is the one that's always here. Right? So it's like you have to understand liquidity. If you understand liquidity, you understand price. And once you understand price, where price is going, you're very comfortable to hold your place. You're comfortable with zone is not going to hold or is going to hold. Right? Fam, I just want to give you that amazing, amazing content that was in my mind and to know the difference between the retail and the bank or smart money. If you got value, once again, like and subscribe. I'll be coming out with more video. I have video until November 7 or 6, but I will be always creating video. And if you've seen this video, this might be uploaded on November 8. Right? So, fam, enjoy the rest of your day. It's a Sunday right study your chart create a strategy whatever strategy that you have use it if you're use if using my strategy and it's working for you you're very very welcome i do this for us to make sure each and every one of us win a very high level so once again family thank you so much also one last thing those of you that are purchasing the merch on the stock options i appreciate each and every one of you uh i did i did an amazing promotion where I give out free 15 minute one-on-one, -on -one, teach them about trading and simple deep inside strategy. So if you send me the receipt, I appreciate each and every one of you again, the purchase. And if you got that receipt, I hope you guys got more value. Those are trading. If you're in New York, get that, get that, get those hoodies. It's getting a little bit chilly. We have a stock option sniper hat, right? We have the candlestick. We have one of my favorite, which is the stock option sniper just itself. Cause just cause you know, that's what we do. Stock option snipers, right? We snipe those candles, get the best entries and exit, right? Once again, everybody, peace.